In this video, you will watch how the association of rotational motors low temperature impact test is completed. Test specimens for impact are from a rotationally molded part. We used the size of a 12 by 12 cube that was rotationally molded. The 12 by 12 sides are cut into 5 by 5 squares labeled 1 through 16 with a part thickness measured on the mold contact side. These test specimens are conditioned at negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit for no less than two hours prior to testing. The falling dart, in this case is procedure A, using a 10 pound dart, impacts the surface of the part that will be in contact to the mold when molding. Raise the 10 pound dart to the height expected to cause half of the test specimens to fail. Remove the test specimen from the cold storage service and place the specimen in the specimen holder. Release the dart within 30 seconds of removal from the cold storage service. Record pass or fail. Samples are considered pass if water would not leak through. Two types of failures include ductile failure and brittle failure. Ductile failure occurs when the dart elongates the sample and punctures a hole in the test specimen. Brittle failure occurs when the test specimen shatters or splits into two or more pieces. If specimens fail, lower the dropping height by 6 inches and repeat test. Continue increasing the drop height by the same increment until failure occurs. If no failure occurs before 75% of the tested height, change to a heavier dart. Use a chart or database to record and clarify the outcome of each test. The report should contain the following. Identification of specimens tested with history of processing. Method of preparation of specimen, mean failure height, dart used, specimen thickness tested with averages and range, number of specimens used for determination of mean failure height, mean failure energy, any variations from the procedure recommended, types of each failure, and date of test and operator.